Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to work with duplicate values and unique values in Google Sheets. I'm gonna show you how you can highlight the duplicate values, how you can remove them, how you can highlight the unique values, and how you can count them as well. So if you wanted to remove duplicate values in Google Sheets, you could just go to the data menu, select data cleanup, and remove duplicates, right? So I select the option that says my data has rows, and let's say I wanted to remove the duplicate champions. So any value that shows up more than once here is gonna get removed. Now the downside of that here is I've actually now removed a lot of data from here. So if I don't wanna do that, <clears throat> there are some other ways that I can highlight these duplicate values. And one way is just by going through the format option, selecting conditional formatting, and now creating uh, a rule. So I want this to apply to range to, to column B, right? And I'm gonna create a custom formula to say equals count if, so I'm gonna look at column B, select B1 and check if it's greater than one. So to break down this, this, this function, so count if's gonna look at column B and it's gonna look at B1. And really B1 is just my starting point. It's gonna evaluate every single cell and see where that cell has been, has shown up more than more than once. So see, you can see the conditional formatting is already working. See France, Germany, all these countries are, are repeat winners. So I'm gonna hit done. And so the conditional formatting technically works. There's just a lot of duplicates on this list. Now, if I just wanted to highlight the the unique values, the ones that only show up once, basically the opposite of this, I can just set this to equal to one, right? And so now I see all the values that only show up once in this list. So I could adjust this range if I didn't want this, this one to get highlighted, but it essentially works the same way, is, is it's just calculating which one of these values in this range show up exactly one time. So again, if we want the repeat values, then we change this to greater than one. Now everything that's a duplicate is highlighted. So that's one way where you can spot duplicate values by just creating a conditional formatting rule. Now there's another way, if you just wanted to extract the unique values, you can use the unique function in Google Sheets. So here I can just select this entire range here, hit end, oops, use uh, the unique formula, select these values here, hit enter, and now it's gonna give me a list of exactly all those names that show up here. So I don't necessarily have to highlight them if I just wanted to create a list, and the beauty of this is obviously I don't have to remove anything, I can just create a list right here just through that simple formula. There's also a count unique function, and what this will allow me to do is count how many unique values are in here, all right? So if I do that, it gives me a value of eight, which is correct. So if I highlight all these, there are eight of those, eight of those winners, right? Now, <clears throat> there's also the count, count uniques, count unique ifs. So we can add an if statement in here. So again, let's select this range. And then for the criteria range, let's select the year. And let's say I just wanna count the number of unique winners since 1980, so everything from 82 and and since then. So I'm gonna put in quotes, greater than 1980, close that out, and that tells me there's six. So I can check this if I just adjust my range. So let's say unique, and then this time go all the way down to 1982, be my last one. And sure enough, there are only six entries there. So the count unique ifs allows you to add an if statement onto here. The count unique will just count the unique values. And of course the unique function can ex actually extract them. So you can pull in the unique values. And as far as the duplicates goes, you can, the easiest way is to use a custom, um, a conditional formatting rule where you're doing a count if, where you're just basically counting the number of times that each one of these entries shows up within this range. So as mentioned before, the count if function looks at all of column B here 
and it starts at B1, but it's basically going to iterate through every single one of these cells to evaluate them. How many times does France show up? How many times does Germany show up? If they show up more than once, then it's going to apply this formatting. And so that's how you can apply um, conditional formatting to spot duplicate values.